James McMurtry. Well, uh, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to be back. Great pleasure to have you here, not only in Studio 2A, but also back in Tucson. We were really are, we're excited about your show that's going to be at Club Congress tonight. I also wanted to point out, not only is that one of my favorite songs of yours, uh, you have a new album that just came out this fall. It's called James McMurtry Live in Europe. For you that haven't got it, rush out and get it. It's not only got the great songs that are on here from his live tour in Europe, with also with Ian McLagan. Yeah, McLagan played keyboard. With yeah, us. and I saw him right after I saw you at Mercy Lounge in Nashville uh, this fall, about two weeks afterwards. And I can't think of the name of that place that I saw him at, but uh, nice, nice fellow. By the way, this CD also has a bonus DVD where you can see Ian McLagan playing keyboard with James McMurtry on it. There, there's also a special edition vinyl you can get to. Excellent. The vinyl package has all three. Well, tell us a little bit, I mean, for the people who are just listening in, you spent some time here in Tucson. Yeah, I think uh, after about four years, I became a sophomore at U of A. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I put in my time, yeah, early 80s. As a matter of fact, I think that you were telling me a moment ago that you were the first person to... to no, no, I didn't say that. What I said was this was the first station I ever played. Ah, that you had played at yourself yeah. live on the air. which is good. Yeah, well, I think you first opened up about 84... Something yeah, like, like that. And uh, there was a fellow named Chone. I forget his last name. He's a lawyer. And I think he had some kind of law, legal talk show kind of thing. And I had a gig at the Sawmill Cafe. And he invited me to come down, play on the air, try to plug my show a little bit. I think last year was our 25th anniversary at KXCI. So that's, that's just about exactly right. And I think that was before Milo joined. I knew Milo, but I don't think he was with the station yet at that time. Yeah. We're live in Studio 2A with James McMurtry. James, thank you again for joining us here. Thank you. For those of you who are going to be fortunate enough to see James tonight at Club Congress, please go out and see that show. I've seen him live in concert, and as good as his records are, the live show is indescribable at best. But I noticed that your new CD is on Lightning Rod Records. Yes. My, my last one was, too. Well, it was. Yeah, Just As Kids was also on Lightning Rod. And, and then you had quite a streak of records with Trigger Hill there for a while, didn't you? I had three on Trigger Hill. I had two on Compadre after that at Columbia way back in the old days. Yes, that's what I remember. I can't remember which one you had, uh, where, where'd you hide the body? Is yeah, that was the last of the Columbia records. Columbia records. For those who don't know you and or don't know too much about you, you grew up in Leesburg, Virginia. Pretty much. Yeah, and you're the... Son of uh, Larry McMurtry, that's right. a Lonesome Dove fan, based in Austin, Texas these days. Mm -hmm. yeah. For any of you that can get to Austin and see when James is in town, he plays live every Wednesday night in the midnight show at uh, the Continental Club. Yep. Who's with you tonight? Uh, Johnny Burke, very talented young songwriter. It should be a great show. And that's going to start, what, about 7.30 this evening? I think the doors open at 7. And... I think, yeah, I think they're... I think Johnny's playing in front because we were squeezed on in front of somebody else. There's another show coming in at 10 o'clock, so we got to shut it right down at 10 and get the gear out the door. You like these smaller venues, don't you? That, uh, uh, well, no. <laughs> <laughs> I like them okay, but I, I'd sure like to play some bigger venues. <laughs> a few more dollars that would come in along yeah. with them. <laughs> we're live in Studio 2A with James McMurtry. I'm Gregory Sweet. Thank you, James, so much. I have to ask you, your songs, you're considered every man songwriter today. Everyone relates to your music, no matter what their politics are, and especially the one that you wrote, We Can't Make It Here Anymore. Were you surprised by the reaction to that song? Um, not by the reaction. There there were mixed reactions to that. Uh, I was surprised at the way it caught on, because we did that, we put that out on the internet six months before we made the rest of that record. Right. So it was a free download, and uh, it, the power of the internet surprised me at that time. I had no idea. Speaking of which, what are your plans for new recordings coming up? Uh, none, right, Dalton. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly here, before you have to get out of here, I know you've got to go to Club Congress here this evening. James McMurtry, his new CD, along with the accompanying DVD, and he was reminding me that it's also out on vinyl as well. It's called Live in Europe. It's on Lightning Rod Records. It is fabulous. But having seen him in uh, concert in Nashville in November, I can tell you that as much as you enjoy his records, his live performances are a hundred times better if that's possible. Also, you're heading then tomorrow to Phoenix and then yeah, on the Rhythm Room in Phoenix tomorrow. Rhythm Room tomorrow night in, in Phoenix. That's great. That's a great venue place too. I can't thank you enough for coming in to see us, for being back in Tucson. Welcome back. It's not often you get to interview your hero. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy, I'll take it back to you.